Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a year since we experienced this pandemic. That's why we are in home working, watching, studying, exercising, cooking, and anything under the roof. Good thing, there are Korean dramas that we used to watch at this time to prevent boredom. That's why I'm gonna show you my review for Guardian, The Lonely and Great God, or Goblin. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Please don't take the verdict or opinion seriously. This is for entertainment purposes only. Are you excited? Let's check it out. Goblin is a South Korean television series starring Gong Yoo, Kim Go Yun, Lee Dong Wook, Yoo Hin Na, and Yuk Sung Jae. It was shown on TVN from December 2, 2016 to January 21, 2017, and it was written by popular drama writer Kim Yoon Suk. It was the fifth highest rated in cable television history as of today. It received critical acclaim and became a cultural phenomenon in South Korea as well. The drama won numerous awards, including the dazing for writer Kim Yoon Suk and Best Actor for Gong Yoo at the 53rd Basing Arts Awards. The story tells about a decorated military general from the Goryeo dynasty, was framed as a traitor and killed by the young king. Years after his death, he is cursed by the Almighty to stay immortal forever. Enduring the pain of seeing his loved ones die as punishment for the soldiers he killed to protect his country. The only way to put an end to his immortality is the Goblin's Bride, whose aid in pulling out the sword will end his painful immortality. Actually, it is my most favorite Korean drama so far. It has a perfect casting, an interesting theme, and a unique storyline. It is a fantasy genre mixed with romance, comedy, and a bit historical. Aside from that, the basic story is about death. The drama shows how does each person will die by looking at their life cards handled by a grim reaper. Each episode does not just discuss death, but it shows the humor of each character. There are also episodes that can make us sad, afraid, surprised, and angry. The scene stealer of this drama was none other than Secretary Kim Do Young played by Jo Woo Jin. His role was the secretary of Yu Dick Law. Kim Shin gave him the scholarship to study in a university then hired him on Yu Family's company. And here's the reason why and how did he become the show's scene stealer. <laughs> Warning spoiler alert! I really like this scene from episode 13. It contains sadness but the most powerful among all episodes. This is a total turjerker. Before this scene, Kim Shin got furious about the Grim Reaper's past life after knowing that he is King Wang Yo. The Grim Reaper realized that he has been the cause of Kim Shin's misery and immortality, knowing that he has nothing but thoughts of vengeance in him. But there's a more formidable enemy they must face, and it is the other missing soul, the eunuch Park Jung Won. However, he did not remember his former eunuch's name. He must call out his name thrice in order for him to claim his soul and defeat him. Park Jung Won knew about Goblin's pride, and his plan all along was to possess Yan Tok's body and pull the sword himself. This would, of course, lead to Goblin's demise, but in the end, Kim Shin. Yan Tak and the Grim Reaper controlled the situation by calling out his former eunuch's name. Sadly, after defeating Park Jun Hu by Kim Shin helping Yun Tak on pulling the sword on his chest, he was gone little by little. How about you? What is your favorite scene? I will rate it 5, because I enjoyed the drama very much. You can't help to watch it anytime you wanted. The location where it was filmed was so amazing. Some parts were shot in Quebec then the latter parts were in Seoul and Incheon. I also amazed by its storyline. It made me laugh, cry, angry, and so on. This drama is highly recommended. Before I end this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to get notifications. Stay tuned for the next updates.
Thank you for watching.